The coming of the Mahdi السلام, is considered among the signs before the Day of Judgment. Before his reappearance, there are certain signs that would indicate his reappearance is near. There are many reasons as to why these signs will occur. Some of these signs are so great that the believer will awaken and praise his Lord. Some of these signs are a threat and a means of fear to the enemies. Some of these signs are glad tidings and good news for the believers. The signs for the coming of the Mahdi are categorized into signs that are general and signs that are definite. Some of the general signs are different causes of death, frequent earthquakes, wars and worldwide uprisings, unexpected lunar and solar eclipse, heavy rains and many more. These signs may or may not happen due to Allah's will. As for the definite signs, according to some narrations, there are five definite signs that will occur before the coming of the Mahdi alayhi salam. Number one, the uprising of the Sufyani. He will be from the descendants of Abu Sufyan. He is cursed in this life and in the next. He is the most ruthless person you will see and shed blood of innocent people. It is reported he will rise in the month of Rajab and his rising will be for 15 months and rule for 9 months. It is claimed he will conquer five districts, Palestine, Jordan, Damascus and two cities in Syria. He will have a huge army with thousands or hundreds of thousands on his side. 2. Another definite sign before the Mahdi is the uprising of the Yamani and the Khurasani who are from the descendants of Imam Hassan and Imam Hussein alayhumussalam. They will call people towards the truth and their uprisings will occur at the same year, same month and same day as the Sufyani. It is reported that the Yamani will appear in Yemen and the Khurasani will appear in Khurasan and they will help fight off the Sufyani and his army. 3. The sinking of Sufyani's army into the earth is another definite sign. It is reported that this incident will occur after the reappearance but before the uprising of the Mahdi. It is said that the Sufyani will send a large army to Medina and start a massacre and follows the Imam towards Mecca. When the army enters an area called al Bayda, which is between Medina and Mecca, the earth will swallow up the army. 4. Another sign is a loud sound or voice from the sky. In some narrations it says that Gabriel, the great angel, will be heard from the sky by all people and everyone will hear it in their own language. He will mention that the Mahdi has come, so follow him. There is a difference of opinion as to when this call will happen. Some scholars believe it will happen before the reappearance of the Mahdi. Some believe when he has reappeared and some believe it is before his uprising. There are also some narrations that tell us that another voice will be heard from Satan in the sky as well. Satan will call out to deceive and mislead the people. 5. The fifth definite sign is the murder of Nafsa Zakiya, meaning the pure soul. He will be a person from the lineage of Imam Hussein and is known for his worship and high spiritual state. It is said he delivers messages to the Imam. Reports tell us that he will be murdered near the Holy Kaaba 15 days before the Mahdi's uprising. All of the signs mentioned are considered definite, but there are not many specific details about these events in narrations, and many narrations are not very authentic. Some narrations have also indicated that there are other definite signs too. Some have said that Jesus will return as a definite sign. Some have mentioned that the earth will be filled with tyranny and injustice as a definite sign. Some have said that the Dajjal or several Dajjals will come. It is said Dajjal is one of the greatest enemies of Imam al-Mahdi and he will deceive many people. Even though these signs are labelled as definite, scholars have argued that a common mistake that people usually make is that they think that the Imam is completely dependent upon these signs. In other words, the Imam will not appear unless these signs happen. But according to narrations, the reappearance of the Mahdi is totally dependent upon Allah's will only, regardless if these signs take place or not. The coming of the Mahdi is a real definite sign and a promise from Allah, but the other definite signs mentioned mean that there is more chances of the Mahdi appearing if they take place.
As believers, we should be aware of these signs in order to prevent deceit and not to be taken advantage of by false Mahdis.